Hi everyone, let's go ahead and get our character walking across the stage. Now you'll see from the scene we have here, I've got my window open up to Adobe Animate. I've set on Animate as the uh, tool preference. Um, I'm on scene four of my earlier scenes where I had my walk cycle creating. Here's my, my uh, uh, walk cycle here with my stick figure, then my uh, figure with all the features brought in, then my final piece. But now let's do the walk across. For this scene, what I'm going to do is you'll notice that I've got one layer set up and I have four separate keyframes here. And with each keyframe, I have the poses loaded in order. So we have contact, down, pass, and up. So we have the four poses needed. What I need to do right now is to get and set up the stage. To do so, I have to open up the rulers. So I'm going to go to View and Rulers, and I need to set a ground line. So that ground line is going to happen about a third of the way up from the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to put pose number one, and I'm going to put Mr. Char my character here, the heel of the contact foot right at the edge of the stage. That's where we start. We always start a walk cycle with the front foot making contact with the ground for the contact pose. So we're going to start off the scene with the heel. It is uh, right there at the edge of the stage. That is frame one. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to frame two. And I'm going to go ahead and move this one up, and I'm going to line up the heel in the exact same spot. You'll notice that my character is on uh, the foot's in the same area. My heel is lined up with the edge of the stage. Now let's go ahead and go to number three, and which is my pass pose. Got that here. Put that down there. There we go. And now I'm going to go to frame number four. And now that foot is now at the back of the body, right? So now I've got to line that up. So there we go. So if I drag my, my blue scrub bar, you'll see how I'm rising. I go up, do that, I go up and I fall. So I go up and I'm rotating on that foot. Now let's go to the, the second step of four. So you think about it, basically we're going contact down, pass up, contact down, pass up. We're doing that over and over again, okay? Now, we're gonna have to repeat the cycle. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to frame number one. I'm gonna right click and say copy frame. Go to the next frame in the timeline, right? Right click and paste frame. Now, this is going to be um, the contact pose again. Now, this is the thing that actually trips people up more than anything else on this process, which is um, every time you repeat a cycle, you go from contact down, pass up, right? Up is the last frame of the, of the four in the row, and you have to start back with contact again. The secret to making it work well is lining up the back foot Okay, lining up the back foot of the next cycle of four drawings, okay, with the previous frame. So you'll see right here. See how it's it's lined up here? There's the there's the uh, the uh, the up pose, and and here's the next contact pose. All right. So now we've got contact down, pass up, contact. Now is where we're going to start bringing out the other ruler tool. And what this means is that we're going to start bringing out vertical rulers and laying them down at the front foot okay so at the heel of the front foot this is where we line up for the next step just like last time we li we lined up the heel of the foot on the last one now we're going to line up the heel of the front one all right so by taking this frame number one and laying it up and lining up the heel from the previous frame with that i'm now set to go and add my next frame in so i'm going to go to frame number two which is my my down pose right click and i'm going to copy it Right click and I'm going to paste the frame. Okay, after pasting that in, now I move it forward and I put the heel of that front foot right there on that spot. And I'm just using the arrow uh, keys on my keyboard for small movements. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab frame number three, which is my pass pose and a copy frame and go on to next and say paste frame. Okay, I go to paste frame. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring them forward put that heel right there. I can drag it in with my mouse kind of generally, but then I'm going to use my, like I said, my arrow tool on my keyboard here to forget the final finesse of it. And so I'm, now I'm at the, uh, the uh, pass pose. Now I need to go to the up pose, which is going to be right here. Right click and copy that frame. And I'm going to right over here, right click, and I'm going to paste that frame. Okay, go to the next notch of timeline. Now I'm at the last, the final frame of four in the second repeat of those four frames, right? So I've gone contact down, pass up once, and now I've done it again. So let's take a look. 
Now, the magic of this is, is if you watch and step, this is where we're really going to see it on this step now. When I go backwards and I grab the scub bar, you're going to notice that the body is, is sets down on that foot, rises, and the body lifts up and rotates and goes back down again for the next step. See that? Going up and down. There we go. So that's how we propel ourselves forward for the walk and keep everything lined up properly. Okay. Now, once again, I'm at the end here. And I'm at the end of my second cycle of four drawings. So now I need to repeat that cycle over again. And to do so, I have to go back and grab my contact pose again. So right click on that first keyframe, copy frame, right click and paste frame. Now when I put that in there, now I have to again drag, remember because we're repeating the cycle of four, so that means I have to line up the very first drawing and put it in the same spot where the heel was at in the last drawing of the cycle of four. But there we are, we've got that again. So there's my contact pose. So now I have to go back and grab my uh, down, actually, well, excuse me, I'm sorry. Forgot to put in my vertical line to mark the placement of the next set of drawings. So there's my heel mark for the next set of four drawings. So let's go ahead. Now I'll go back and grab my down pose. So there it is. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy it and copy frame. I go right here again and I'm going to paste the frame. And then when I go in, I drag it forward and put that heel in that spot. Right? I'm going to put that heel in and I'm using my arrows just to get a subtle movement. Get that heel in there just right where I want it. Okay. Now I have to go to the next pose, and I would do as my down pose. So I'd go to my pass pose, right click, and we say copy frame and paste frame. And we say um, pass pose on this one. It's not too evident for people sometimes, but the pass pose refers to the uh, the back leg. You notice how the leg is crossing over the other leg. That one is sort of passing behind it, right? And that's what we call that the passing pose. Okay. So we're up here now. So now I need to go ahead and Go to the last frame here in the four. So I've got my contact down pass up. And I need my um, up pose. There we are. Right click and copy frame. And I'm going to go right into here. Right click and paste frame. And I'm going to click on that keyframe. So now I'm going to bring it all the way forward. And now we've hit the four. The basically we've done our one, two, three. We've done three sequences of those four drawings. All right? We've done three sequences of those. And so now we need to go ahead and do our next cycle. So I'm going to go and grab that scrub bar and take a look at it. See, there we go. I'm walking across. There we go. And the foot is going down nice and nice and firmly on that ground. All right. So now I need to go ahead. And like I said, I've got the up pose. I mean, the up pose here now. So I go back to my contact pose. So back to my contact pose again. And I'm going to say copy frame. Go to the next blank uh, spot in the timeline. Right click and paste frame. And just as we've done before in the other last, the last couple of times, when we're starting a new cycle of the four drawings, we line up the heel of the back foot with the heel of the previous drawing. So that's going to put you right there at the edge of that uh, that blue line there. Okay? And I'm making sure my character sit right on the line there on the walking. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the uh, uh, vertical line, put a ruler line at the back of his heel. There we go, right about there. So now I'm going to continue until I get him off the stage. So we're on the, we're on the contact pose, so I need the down pose now. So there's my down, so I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to copy that frame. Go right here, and I'm going to paste it. And uh, click on there. I'm dragging it forward and putting the heel, right, of that front foot. Right, line that up. And let's go down and get the, um, the pass pose. Right-click, and I'm going to copy the frame. And I'm going to paste it, click on it there, and again, I'm going to left click and drag that guy over here. Then I'll use my arrows on my keyboard to finesse it and fine tune it and make sure it's exactly where I need it to be. There we are. So now I'm going to go to the last one, and now I need the up pose again. So there's my up pose, and a right click, and I'm going to say copy frame, and then a right click, and I'm going to paste frame. And remember, once again, we have to put that back foot. Put that right there. Make sure again we're getting that right there. There you go. That's the last frame in that sequence. But remember, I'm not done yet because I need my character to leave the stage. He's not out of there yet. So here's what I have to do. Go ahead and continue going. So there again is my up pose. So I need to go back to this to the first of the four drawings again. 
grab my contact pose, right click and copy, go to the last notch in the timeline and paste frame. And now I'm going to go and drag him and put him right there. And remember, because I'm restarting that psych sequence of four drawings again, I'm lining up that heel with the last place it was from the previous set of four. There we go. Now let's go ahead and I need the next one. So I need the down pose. Back again. I'm going to copy frame. Come back here, right click and paste frame. And we go to that spot. And now that heel. Right, that heel is right there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that, silly me. I need to go ahead and move that line and put my other line in there to move it forward. Let's grab that vertical line. And then that's where this frame goes. Boy, I caught myself up. Let's move him up there. And that's where the heel of this foot goes. There we go. Because that gave me my lineup for the previous foot. There we go. So now we're all set there. So we're almost here another step or so to get him off the stage. So let's go ahead here, and this is my down pose. So I need my pass pose. Right click, and I'm going to copy frame. And I go right click, and I'm going to paste frame. Click on that, and then I move him so that he's right there. And look at that. I'm out of the shot now. I'm out of the shot. So technically, that was it. So look at that. I'm walking across. So let's go ahead and hit the return key. There he is walking across there. All right, so now in closing, you want to remember a couple of things. One, make sure to add another layer that sits below your walk cycle layer so that you have a solid background for the contrast for your character. Otherwise, when you publish it, it will end up being a black background. So um, again, I've gone ahead and uh, selected my fill color as white and my rectangle tool chosen. And I'm going to left click and drag a box. So it goes around the uh, stage. There we are. And you can see it's filled in, so it's a solid white rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and lock that up, make sure they're both locked. And here I'm just going to call my uh, call it uh, me, because that's me. And uh, over here, I'm going to say a white square. There we go. And a white square. All right. Say, so, okay. Yes, I want to do that. Thank you. So we're going to go ahead here. And uh, as I said before, you can go ahead and you can play with the spacing on this. You can see that uh, with my character, I really got a lot of frames in between. I really spaced out the character out. Okay. Now, certainly we can keep it on fast if we'd like to. Now, here I wanted to show you, I've gone ahead and the first cycle of with a walk, I've gone ahead and actually pulled those back so they only are one keyframe at a time. They're only one keyframe at a time. And I did that because I wanted to go ahead and show you um, just what that looks like. Um, I'm going to pull that back here a little bit. Now I'll take a look here and I'm going to do a control test scene here. And you'll watch it goes in quickly and slows down. In quickly, slows down. That in quickly is exactly these first six frames right here at the beginning when he's walking really fast in there or one frame at a time, and then afterwards when he's slowed down. So I just wanted to basically show you that comparison uh, just by stretching out those frames that you can get a little bit uh, uh, more use and or spend a little more time with the character and really get a chance to see them walking across that space. Now go ahead and set this up for yourself. Let's see you go ahead and have your character walk across the stage, start and stop at the same points that I have, and have fun with this because you've already drawn the character. Now let's just take him for a walk.